All right, guys, so the new intelligence Kid Buu has arrived on the global version of Dokkan Battle, and it's actually awesome. The banner changed up a little bit, so let's go ahead and talk about that. First off, before we start the video, I want to state Kid Buu is actually a really good card. His team is really amazing, so if you're just looking for whether you should pull on this banner or not, well, if you want to stick around for the team building, I'm going to go a little bit in depth on that. Um, that's really what you're going to want to make your decision on, but if you're just deciding on the unit, he is a good unit. He is a staple on a villain's team on a mono villains team that is and he's just an overall good unit just to have in general in terms of a mono intelligence team maybe not so much just because not a lot of people will utilize him but you if you see a buhan lead you could always use that buhan lead anyway let's go ahead and jump into the banners real quick because this is going to be a little bit of a longer video um so this is the global side we don't have any stats yet unfortunately the stats page has not been updated with any information but we have these are the uh, major banner cards and the one that's not featuring is the sr uh, that is the Intelligence Kid Buu, obviously, Buhan, the Intelligence Shinemba, and the, te the Technique Frieza, which were on the other one. But we do also have Rage Trunks, which is freaking awesome. I'm missing Rage Trunks. I wasn't going to pull on this banner, but now I kind of want to because I want that Rage Trunks. I only need one more Buhan. He's the last 70% lead who I don't have all the paths unlocked. So if I get one more Buhan, then I'm set and he has all four pa dupe paths unlocked and I'm going to 100% him. And obviously the Kid Buu I would like just because, hell, he's a really nice unit to have. Um, in terms of comparatively to the JP side, their their cards were the Buhan, the Vegeta, and the Goku. These two were definitely taken off of the banner, um, and that Trunks was added in, so that's the only difference. It makes the banner a little bit more worth it, in my opinion. If you don't have that Trunks, he's a good hero leader if you don't have any hero leads. So let's go ahead and talk about the card real quick. I'm not going to go over full in-depth with the SSR variant, just because you all probably already know what it is. Uh, his leader ability is uh, extreme type. Key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%, and super type, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. He does immense damage, recovers 10% HP on his super attack only. His passive skill, total concentration, attack plus 90%, plus 50% when HP is 40% or above, so almost all the time, especially with this team, since they're really good at healing and tanking. Um, and he has max stats of 9205 for HP, 9048 for attack, and 3713 for defense. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Yudokun Awakens with 77 of his own medals. There's new medal uh, level added onto the Kid Buu event. So go ahead, take that on. Um, I'll, I'll, I may be doing coverage on that. I might do some a gameplay on that in the future. Anyway, Yudokun Awakens into Transcendent Majin Buu Kid. His leader ability is now the Extreme Type Lead. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120% for Extreme Intelligence. For Super Intelligence, it's Key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%. A super attack, super vanishing ball, immense damage, and recovers 12% HP, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, guys, but if you haven't been watching other videos or Reddit posts or been following the JP side, 12% on a double 120 lead is like anywhere between like 10, uh, 20 to 30,000 HP per super attack. And if you're going to see in the future, his best linking buddy is Buhan. And you know Buhan is a healer. And they link together with infinite regeneration, which is an additional 3%, so they do nothing but heal. It's very hard to go below anything. Well, especially for his passive skill, um, simple mindedness, attack plus 100% plus attack plus 70% when HP is 30% or above. So that's really freaking useful because you're never going to go under 30%. Even in a regular situation, you're almost never going to go under 30%. So he's consistently going to be hitting for attack plus 170% on his super attack. It's freaking nuts, man. I mean, think about that. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is only 150%. But there's, you know, there's caveat. He only has a 12 key multiplier of 140%, which kind of sucks. Um, lowers that down a little bit. But he has some really good link skills. And if you could hit all of them off, which there is a card that does that. If you could, not, well, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's a card that hits all six of them off. Uh, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, he's going to be hitting really hard. So that's going to be more on a mono extreme team, though. Link skills are big bad bosses, infinite regeneration, brutal beatdown, fierce battle, the wall standing tall, Majin, and more than meets the eye. And his max stats are HP of 11,875, attack of 10,800, and defense of 4,688. Um, overall, not bad when you get a max dupe system. Oh, thank God we actually have this. HP is 16,875, which is ridiculous. Attack is 15,800, and defense is 9,688. So if you can get him even like even base, he's going to be doing really, really well. And if I do, you know, if I happen to pull him, I will be doing base on him because you can't do that to a 120 lead. Especially someone who's going to be a staple in a mono villains team. Um, other cards, this guy gets Awakening, Savage, Battle, Instinct, Boo, Super. He Doken Awakens now into Destructive Descending, Boo, Super. 
His leader skill is technique type, key plus three, eight, attack and defense plus 50%, which is meh. Uh, supreme damage with rare chance is done. Passive favorite candy, recover 30% of damage as uh, Delta's health. Now this is his best linking buddy, just so you all are aware. Um, link skills are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Infant Regeneration, Fear and Faith, Wall Standing Toll, and Fierce Battle. So these two actually link the best out of everyone else in game at this point in time. So this is who you're going to want to put on a Mono Villains team with him if you're looking to hit up all those link skills. Um, his, his max stats are HP of 9057, attack of 8447, and defense of 4448, 4448, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Not bad, and plus with that, with the, when you're running him on a villain's team, even though you're not really doing, all, you know, 30% is typically a lot, but it's not going to be a lot because he's not getting that 120 boost. Since he's going to be on a villain's team, it's still decent. He's going to be doing a lot of HP recovery. Um, the other one is going to be the SR variant that's coming out on the um, uh, on the global side right now. He's an SR in the banner. You're probably going to get him at least once if you're doing it, even once summon, because he has like a 10% rate most likely. Leader ability is Technique and Strength Type Key plus 2, HP and Attack plus 30%, which is really cool. Uh, he only does Extreme Damage and lowers Defense, Passive Skill, Absurd Strength, Attack and Defense plus 40, Disables Enemy Scarred, so he has that old school second form Frieza. It doesn't mean he's super effective against him, it just means they can't get, they don't get that Guard to buff, so that's awesome. It makes him a little bit more viable on like an Extreme uh, Strength team if you don't have a good setup for that. Uh, link skills are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, and Wall Standing Tall. Max stats are HP of 7120, attack of 7032, and defense of 2900. Doken Awakens with 21 medals from the same uh, Kid Buu event, and a 12 key multiplier of 130%. He Doken Awakens into the sluggish battle form Kid Buu, this like, little dancing one where he's making fun of people. <laughs> um, I actually just watched that on the Kai version the other night. And leader skill is technique and strength type key plus 2, HP and attack plus 50%. Super attack is planet burst, causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Um, I would recommend getting the Super Attack 10 before you Doken Awaken him into this form. Uh, passive skill, attack and defense plus 70% and disables the enemy's guard, so he's going to be doing a lot more damage to the opponent. 70% uh, with Supreme Damage on an SR, which is really easily attainable, especially on this banner. Definitely going to be worth it, guys. Really don't Doken Awaken him unless you need to, in my opinion. Link skills are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, More Than Meets the Eye, Big Bet Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. So he has a really nice Link skill set for a Boo team. Um, there are a couple boos that you can run on a strength team. Max stats are HP of 80, or 7803, attack of 7964, and defense of 3144, and a 12 key multiplier of only 135%, but he is an SR, so what can you, you know, an SR uh, origin, so what can you really do about that? Overall, not a bad unit, though. I, I do like it. i kind of a fan of Kid Boo. I think he's a cool character, cool concept, um, but overall, we are really focusing on the, the intelligence Kid Boo here. So, in terms of the banner, what's on the banner, I just went over all the cards, and the one card that's really good for linking, again, he's really worth pulling on. So, let's go ahead and talk about some teams. First off, linking buddies on Mono Intelligence. Obviously, you're going to have Buhan, and then you're going to have Janemba. Those are going to be two staples on the team anyway. Um, and then you also do have the Majin Buu, Bibbidi Absorbed, if you were lucky enough to pull him. Um, they only have attack plus 20%, but he is Mono Extreme Intelligence, so you can run him. And obviously, the Undoken version of Buhan. But these two are going to be staples on that team, and this is what we're going to go look at right now. Um, in the future, this is going to be the optimal, well, the most optimal for damage output. Um, at that, consistent damage output and consistent supers uh, for the team. First off, you're going to have, obviously, the Kid Buu and the Buhan. They link very, very well together. Four link skills, 25% uh, big bad bosses. Majin is attack plus 10%, which adds 10 more, 10 more, which is 35 then plus 15, which is 50, and then wall standing tall, which is another 15, which is 65%. So they had a 65% in attack links alone. Really worth it. The only thing that stinks about it is they have no key links. Actually, this boo really doesn't have any key links at all. Um, I mean, if maybe he has one. Um, and then the same thing with Janemba. He hits off attack plus 10% off, big bad bosses, and super fierce battle. So that's what, 25, 35, 40, 50% attack links getting hit off. Just for having those two linked together. I just put this Kid Buu over here, by the way, just to have a placeholder for the other friend that you're going to be bringing. And then on rotation, this Vegeta isn't out yet, um, but he's going to be a staple in this team because it's key plus three. And then for extreme intelligence, it's going to be, for regular intelligence, to intelligence in general, it's key plus three. And then for mono extreme intelligence, it is uh, attack and defense plus 40%. So you definitely want him. Turles and this Korra, if you have either of them, these are also going to be staples. Because there's a lack of key links on this team, you're going to need the key support from these guys. All these guys provide key. If you're looking for key boost, um, I have the, the list up over here for key boost on the uh, Dokkan Wiki. 
It tells you all the key boosts that you can get for intelligence right here. Ally key boosters for plus three, it's going to be the Vegeta, Turles, and this Trunks. This Trunks is also farmable. I'm not going to like recommend that you use him on the team unless you actually don't have anyone else for key support. He's not great at all. He only does extreme damage, but he gives intelligence type key plus three and defense plus 30%. So he's going to help them tank a little bit more. Um, but outside of that, he really doesn't have any good link skills whatsoever. And he's just going to be utilized for his key and defense. Um, outside of that, he really, yeah, he doesn't hit hard at all. But it's just someone you could take into consideration. If you want to go take a look, go over to the Dokkan Wiki and type in key boost in the search. That's how this page is going to come up and you could select what you're looking for. You also have the overall all types. Now, this is going to be more for the mono intelligence, uh, the mono extreme team that I'm going to be going over in a minute. But essentially, uh, these two are going to be linking very well together they both heal on their own they both heal when they link together and then on this end he heals when he gets a super attack off assuming you can get it off if you have the key plus three and Janemba, obviously as you all know he tanks he's just a tanker so whoever wherever the most attacks are coming in just throw him there and then you have these guys on the end which is going to be really really viable so that way you can actually get some good uh uh good super attacks going off and whatnot um over here i did want to go ahead let me just take off this actually i'm going to need that on and we're going to throw Heck on, and we're gonna put this up there. So I just wanted to show you all the link skills that the ultra rare version, because here we go. So this is who he links the best with. This is the intelligence boot, or the technique boot. Uh, I think this is the one that I had brought up, right? Yeah, this is it. Uh, so, wait, where are you? There we go. So, oh wait, no, it's this one. All right, so this boot over here, this technique boo, I need to actually figure out which one that is because I did not do that research. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just wanted to update. I did make a mistake earlier. This is his second best linking buddy, the one that I went over the Savage Battle Instinct boo. His, this is his second best linking buddy. Uh, he is easily obtainable from summons, uh, but he is a second less. He only, he only hits off five of his link skills. The number one link skill buddy for him is going to be the original Relentless Onslaught boo kid. I'm not going to go over his stats here. You can pause the video if you want to read the stats on this. I'm going to talk about his Dokkan Awaken variant. This is the Raging Dash Majin Boo South Supreme Kai Absorb. Um, leader ability is tech type, attack and defense plus 60%. Supreme damage greatly lowers defense. Passive is key plus two, attack plus 70% when HP is 99% or below. So he, he, he will be hitting pretty decently. Link skills are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. Max stats of 9481, attack of 8683, and defense of 3566. Uh, with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Um, if you happen to go for him to get a max stats, HP is 14,081, attack is 14,083, and defense is 8566. But I don't think it's going to be too relevant to have you really do that. He's only going to come into play on a mono villains team. Um, if you were talking about link skills, though, six link skills over here. Let's go ahead and turn off the filter so that way we can actually see what's going on. You have no idea the ordeal I just went through. I just spilt my Red Bull all over myself and all this stuff. Oh, Jesus, I can't win. <laughs> uh, so attack plus 10%, plus 25%, that's 35, uh, plus another 10%, that's what, 45, uh, 45 plus 15, that's 50, 60%, plus 15, um, is that 60, 75%. So in terms of just um, link skills alone, is that 65% I just said or something like that, plus HP of 3% recovery. And then you also have the other boot that I was talking about, I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's 10% off or something like that, so fit, that's what, 30%. 40 50 percent so yeah he's missing a 15 percent attack boost there but he still does the regeneration so either of these two for a mono villains team will be decent to link with him um, i still think that the buhan's better because the buhan debuffs um and it just makes it a little bit more viable because he heals and he debuffs but in terms of a mono villains team um this is essentially who you're gonna run um you're gonna have one of these two if you do it if you do it the way that i typically do it you always have one friend um, and your own. Both of mine are 100%, so it doesn't matter which one I bring. Is Whatever of these 100%ers I find as a friend, I just bring them. Uh, one of each. And then you have the Kid Boo, who's going to be staple just because he heals really well, and he does really good attack. For his linking buddies, the, you can do whoever you really want. Um, I'm just going to tell you the two intelligence ones that I like, because I do like Janemba on a, on a, a villain's team, just because he tanks everything, I think that's really good to have on a villain's team. Because typically when you bring on a villain's team, you're going for strategy. And it's a good strategy is always to reduce the amount of damage. Buhan is really good for healing. So both of them are good choices to have on, on you know on the spot. Uh, they I think the only thing that they, these two share that the, the Janemba and Kid Buu share, don't share is the HP regeneration. So outside of that, you're pretty much solid there. And then on the end, I was too lazy to go and get the LR Ginyu. But the LR Ginyu, if we ever get him on the global side 
will be really good for a villain's team, uh, just because he does do key plus three, and he's a decent hitter. And then any of these three villains are really good for key support, just because you might want to have them there. These two really link well with, with each other, so you don't really need to worry about too much key. They hit hard and they link well, um, but it doesn't hurt to have key and attack buffs. Anyway, um, so that's it, guys. That is the full video of the Kid Boo team. If you guys have any of these units, you might want to consider going for him if you're looking for mono intelligence. For a mono uh, villains team, he's just good. He is good to have on that mono villains team regardless just because he hits hard and he recovers health just a good overall unit um i know he's not the mono teams are not as relevant his mono team isn't as relevant but if you can find some good friends who have him um then it's going to be worth going for i myself am going to do at least three multi sums at some point this week on this banner just because one I would actually like the card. I didn't really think I was going to go for him. I have him on the uh, actual JP side, which is funny. So um, I thought he was crappy units. So I never wanted to go and awaken him. I was just like, eh, no one likes him, this and that. I, I guess it's out of the 120 leaders. He got a bad rating because he doesn't hit, even with his attack plus 170%, he's still only hit, he's hitting for like under a million or something like that, which is really ridiculous if you think about it. Um, I don't know. I haven't done my own gameplay on that. But anyway, guys, in terms of who he is as a card, very viable in terms of his team, high survivability rate. I wouldn't be surprised if you could take on the, the hardest version of Boss Rush with this team and survive. But I, I don't know. I haven't tried it. But I, you know, that's actually a good challenge. If any of you guys have done it, let me know in the comments below. But thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate you taking the time to come by and watch this video. I hope this was informative. Go ahead, pull this banner if you like the card. Overall, really good. Plus, if you don't have like that Rage Trunks, this is probably a good time to go and grab him because he has been added onto this banner. Um, I feel like they should have modified the Korra banner to make it a little bit more appealing for people. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. I'll catch you all later. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and have a great day.